Hey, and welcome to Removing Backgrounds. Uh, today we're going to be trying to remove uh, this woman and her hair from this white background. Um, there are a few idiosyncrasies with this, and uh, not everything works perfectly all the time, but I figure if you can remove this hair, uh, then you can remove anything. So what we're going to do is open up this file. It's called Background Removal. It's found on my website. You can download it there. Uh, we're going to go over to the Layers panel and uh, double-click on the lock. Missed it. There it is. And uh, click OK to that. that that's just going to unlock it. We need a new layer made. And we're going to put that layer underneath layer 0. And uh, then we're going to add a, uh, an adjustment layer to that. And we're going to use solid color. Okay. So what I want you to do is, is pick something dark. Um, the darker the better. Uh, this image is very easy if you're going to be matting it over top of a, uh, of a light background. If you're going to do it over a dark background, you're going to see a lot of the a lot of the problems. So we're gonna we're gonna have it look like that, and this is just so that we can adjust it later on. So if we want to look to see over a pink or an orange or a yellow background, we can just slide this. We don't have to keep filling it. Uh, and then I'm gonna get you to go to layer zero, and what we want to do is first remove some of the bulk of the white. So we can just grab a magic wand and you can just click around a few places. Now my magic wand, my tolerance is set very very low. It's sitting at five right now. Um, any higher and it's going to start grabbing areas of the hair that I don't want to select. This is fine, okay? Um, you, you don't need to use the magic wand for this. It just it just does a little bit of the work a little bit faster than if you were just going to erase it separately. So, you can just hit delete on the keyboard. Once you've made a selection, we can start seeing some of that blue pop through. And then get rid of your selection with Control D or, um, or Select Deselect. Now, what we're going to use here is the background eraser tool. Okay, and uh, you can choose a brush size, um, and you can just go through your uh, keyboard shortcuts, or you can you can use the drop down list and, and grab a brush size. Uh, we want something big. It doesn't have to be too uh, too precise right now. All we're going to do is uh, on layer zero, click your left mouse button and hold in a white area, and that's pretty much it. We can now very carefully sort of go through. You don't want to go too crazy because it's going to take away some of the highlight tones if you're uh, if you're not careful. But here we go, background eraser. I'm just going to clean up all of these little uh, areas that I missed. I'm going to try to get right in there. And awesome! Look at that, like 10 seconds. Um, now you can see there's a little bit of a halo that goes around her hair, and we can fix that. Let's just look to see what it's like at this point. Uh, double click down here on your color fill layer, and just choose something a little bit lighter, okay? Um, it's looking pretty good, but again, you see this sort of gray halo that goes around. No problem, we'll get rid of that. Okay, uh, pick something dark again, just so you can uh, uh, get a good idea of it. Go back up to layer zero, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, burn tool, okay? Take your burn tool. Um, the size can be pretty large. Change range so that it says midtones, and you can adjust your exposure. Um, I'd probably start at around 50%. It kind of depends where you want to uh, uh, where you want to go with it, but uh, we'll see how this works. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly go back and forth around the outside, and I really want to stick to the outside. I don't want to get too much inside the hair. And I'm going to go slowly around the outside, and this is just going to burn some of those grays, and it's going to turn them into, into darker colors. Now, if you click a few times, you're going to uh, darken it more and more and more. And you do run the risk of sort of overburning it, and, uh, and then it's going to look a little bit foggy. And, and that's no good. All right, I've overburned a little piece of mine over here, but uh, other than that, it's not looking too bad. I missed a little piece over there, too. Um, go back into your color fill layer and look around. Right, this looks awesome. Right, depending on depending on exactly uh, uh, which color you're going to pick for the background, uh, this could work perfectly. Still with the black, it's got a little bit of a halo. Um, and again, uh, what it, what that really calls for is some uh, highlights to be burned out. And uh, layer zero. Go back to your burn tool, change it to highlights, and uh, and now you can just go through and really sort of darken those edges. Now, if you do this a little too much, you're going to burn it out so that when you switch to a 
uh, a light background, uh, it starts to show through, and that's no good either. If you burn too much, you're going to start erasing hair. Like it's just going to be, it's going to turn black, and uh, and that's also no good. Uh, so it really kind of depends how far you go with this based on what your background color is going to be. If you're going to be putting this into a, another photograph, uh, you can probably be a little bit, uh, a little more careless with it because it's going to get masked or it's going to get hidden by all the details in the background. But if you want it on a black background, then you have to uh, really spend your time and, uh, and burn that out well. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, try uh, my other tutorials and um, download this file. Try it out. Try your own. See ya.